Hey, this is just a real quick video on a modification I did to my Omtech uh, K40 Plus. Um, this is not the original K40 machine, but the updated K40 Plus. Um, the modification was installing this uh, CloudRay laser beam combiner. Uh, this is the set B as it is listed on Amazon. And um, I'll put a link uh, in the description um, where you can get it. As of uh, May of 2025, it's listed for $80. There are some other, they, uh, CloudRay does sell some other uh, laser beam combiner sets, um, but this was the most compact one that, that, that I saw. Uh, really, these are made to be placed um, by the first mirror uh, back there, but uh, any of you guys that own one of these K40s or the K40 Plus, there's not a whole lot of room back there. And the whole reason for this modification was that um, I was really getting frustrated with the original um, red dot pointer that came uh, with the machine from the factory. Uh, it was really flimsy, um, unreliable, and it just would not keep a, an accurate position of where the red dot would hit on the material uh, as to where the um, the CO2 laser would hit. Uh, it's just all over the place. Um, one day it would be on, uh, the next day, you know, it wouldn't be accurate at, at all. So to alleviate that problem, um, I found this laser beam combiner um, and, and it works great. Uh, the only real modification I had to do was uh, spliced in. Uh, the kit comes with um, the combiner, a mirror, uh, a red dot, and uh, um, a mounting bracket. <clears throat> uh, I was trying to see where I could put it where I didn't have to do a whole lot of uh, modifications to the machine itself and tearing it up and all that. Uh, like I said, way back here where the first mirror was, uh, there's just not a whole lot of room to put anything in there. Um, and fiddling around with it and uh, trying to place this somewhere convenient, I found that um, this bracket right here, uh, the mounting bracket for the um, combiner uh, kind of sat in there perfectly and it was out of the way where it just wasn't um, hitting anything um, as it, the machine was moving around. So I didn't lose any um, capabilities as far as uh, etching or cutting on the, on the um, surface or the materials. Uh, so that I decided to put it back here. However, um, this is the original bracket that came uh, with the package. Uh, it's a real nice piece of aluminum, but it was just too big uh, I mean, it fit back there perfectly um, behind that bracket <clears throat> right here, but it would ride on this rail right here, and I just uh, didn't want that going on, you know, gouging of the rails and maybe um, messing up the, the path of the, the laser itself. So what I ended up doing was um, I 3D printed uh, a bracket that was uh, quite a bit smaller than uh than the original bracket um so the size uh, ended up being um it's eight millimeters thick uh 55 millimeters uh in length uh 25 meter millimeters wide the slots are four millimeters wide and to accommodate uh m4 uh, bolts and screws uh these two right here that uh that I used to mount it onto the bracket, uh, the factory bracket. I ended up using uh, 20 millimeter long uh, M4 bolts um, and nuts and such to, to secure the bracket and the uh, beam combiner set to the machine itself. Uh, it works real well. Um, if you don't have a 3D printer, um, I suppose you could cut, uh, you know, two pieces of the three mil thick um, MDF plywood and glue them together and uh, it would be fine. Uh, this thing is not going to be subjected to a whole lot of torque or, or anything so it should be just fine. 
Um, the only modifications I really did was to uh, was to drill two holes for the M4 bolts or and nuts. Um, I ended up tapping it as well um, and screwing it in, uh, and just to make sure that it wouldn't back out or anything. There's a lock washer and another um, nut on here as well. Um, but like I said, it works real well. Um, the laser beam combiner set does come with a, a red dot pointer, um, the bracket, and uh, a mirror um, in there. <clears throat> so what I uh, what I did was um, I spliced the power supply for the original red dot uh, that came with the um, that came from the factory and just splice it into the, the, the red dot that came with this, um, uh, this, uh, laser beam combiner set. Uh, it fits in there real nice. Um, uh, and it works real well. So this is just a shroud that I guess just protects the, uh, the lens and such. Um, it was real easy to adjust. Uh, I didn't have to readjust any of the mirrors. Um, Place that in there. First thing I did was uh, uh, try to align so that the CO2 laser would act, would you know pass through um, the combiner and and still uh, hit center on, on the material. Um, when I was doing that, I didn't I didn't have the mirror in so that you know that way if I made a mistake or something, it wouldn't damage the mirror. <clears throat> so once you get the uh, the laser alignment uh, correct so that it would pass through the the aperture or the hole uh, uh, and still hit center on your um, laser head here I went ahead and put the the mirror back the mirror in and uh, and then uh, put the red dot in the back in the back and and kept focusing it so that it's a nice clear dot on uh, on, on the material itself um, just real quick, I'll turn this on just to show you how um, really kind of accurate this, uh, this system is. So it doesn't matter if you bump it around or whatever, um, it's still gonna show you exactly where the, uh, the laser is going to uh, impact on your, on your material. Try to get that a little better angle on that. So it hits right at the same spot every time. So let me home this real quick. So you can see there. Try to zoom in. Same spot every time. All right, that's about it. Uh, sorry for the shakiness and uh, ums and whatnot. Uh, first video on YouTube. I uh, just thought it would help uh, people out that are trying to uh, somehow get a better system of uh, seeing exactly where that uh, laser is going to hit on your material. Right. Thanks for watching.